your teacher Alia and for today's video, I'll be sharing you the procedure of ironing or pamamaransya in Tagalog, which in turn is often done in your houses as a normal chores. But the procedure that I'll be based on to teach you is the practice that we do in Tasbi training. But before anything else, I will give you a simple discussion about what is ironing. Well, ironing is a task or a process of smoothing the fabric or removing the wrinkles or yung lukot sa tela. Or the clothes, sheets, linen, and other more uh, that are made with fabric. Well, we use, in, we use heated tools to do that. What I mean by heated tools are flat irons and, and there are two types of flat irons. First are the regular flat iron which I'm going to use. Then the second one is what we call steam flat iron that I'm going to show in this in this side of the screen as an example for you to so that you don't be able to, so that you don't have to search it online. But of course there is a difference between the two. In steam flat in steam flat iron there is a water inside it, or you can put a water inside it. The water helps you to smooth it, to be easier in smoothing the in smoothing the fabric or the wrinkles on the fabric. But of course, there is a disadvantage in buying or using a steam plant iron, which is the steam plant iron is more pricey than the regular one. But it is your choice on what kind of flat iron that you, you think is best suits you. So since I've started this video, we already have seen the other materials that we're going to use in ironing procedure. So first is this ironing board or tinatawag namin kabayo dito or yung pinagpapatungan nyo or yung pinagpaplanchahan nyo mismo. In choosing your ironing board, eh, you should choose the level or the height that you think will best suit you. Like this one, we choose this kind of ironing board kasi... Yung height niya, isasakto lang. Hindi siya masyadong mababa. O kaya naman, hindi siya masyadong mataas. You should choose something na katingin nyo is magiging madali yung pamamalansya nyo. So, next is the water spray. So, ito yung water spray na ginagamit ko. This water spray was taught me, was taught by my, was taught me by my mother. Dahil nga, regular flat iron lang yung gamit namin. So, lastly, of course, yung etong white long sleeve na gagamitin namin or yung gagamitin ko para i-example sa inyo. And daw natapos na ako, explain sa inyo yung mga materials na gagamitin natin. We should, magsimula na tayo na ironing procedure. Pero dapat pala, i-check nyo muna yung, yung overall condition ng mga materials. Especially dun sa iron, flat, na, ay, ah, flat iron na gagamitin nyo. Like, this flat iron na gagamitin ko, Chinek ko if meron bang mga ngat-ngat ng daga o kaya naman basa ba yung pinakasaksakan niya. And since na check ko na at maayos naman lahat ng gagamitin ko, we can start with the procedure or the step-by-step -step procedure. So, tatanggalin ko na yung pinakahanger sa long sleeve na gagamitin ko. I'm just going to put this inside, aside, I mean. So, this is the long sleeve. And... Sisimulan ko nang ibuksan yung pinaka temperature nitong flat iron or regular regular flat iron na gagamitin ko. And since hindi na masyadong lukot tong long sleeve na paplanchahin ko, I'm just going to put the temperature on 2. So that's it. And sa pamamalansya, you should you should start at the smallest part. And the smallest part on this long sleeve is the collar. And Lagi nyo rin tatandaan na pag namamalansya kayo, mag-start kayo sa pinakaba before you iron the front part. Kasi maaaring kung unahin nyo yung pinakaharap at isunod nyo yung likod, eh, malulukot lang ulit yung sa harap. And since kapag nakikipag-usap naman kayo sa ibang tao, what they see is the front view of yourselves. Hindi naman yung pinakalikod niya dahil natatago naman yon. So this is how you do it. Just spray a small amount of water on the fabric or in the long sleeve. And then, pwede nyo na siyang planchahin. After the 
back part is your is the front part. So pasensya na kayo dahil medyo umuulan kayo, kaya medyo umuulan But I hope you hear what I'm saying uh, and I'll make sure na medyo malakas yung mga ko para malinaw niya sa mga video. So this is how you do it. pagpapatungan kayo ng nitong pinaka flat iron nyo. And yung mga ibang nanay, they also use a what do you call that? Yung pinaka dahon ng sardine. Na pinagpapatungan nila nitong flat iron. So ito. Sa likod muna. Make sure na yung temperature nyo is tama lang para hindi naman masunog yung pinakadamit o yung public na papansin nyo. And then on the front. So that's it, di ba? Mas maganda siya kung talagang inuuna yung back. Para kung malukot man talaga, para kung malukot man yung ulit, yung inuna yung plancha, eh hindi eh hindi yung pinakaharap. So after the collar and the sleeve is lastly, we are going to iron the body part of the this long sleeve. So sa long sleeve, katulad lang din ng nauna, isisimulan natin sa pinakalikuran. Well, the body of the of this clothes or this long sleeve There, ano, nahati pa rin siya sa dalawa. First is yung shoulder or yung pinakataas na part ng body or yung pinaka... At yung isa is yung pinakababa. So, magsisimula tayo dito sa may shoulder part o sa may pinakalikuran na itaas. Mag-spray lang tayo ng kodring, tubig. Make sure na dapat yung mga sides din is napaplansyang mabuti. And then, ito sa may pinakalaylayan or sa pinakababang part. Make sure na yung sa may pinakakilikili na part ng long sleeve is napaplansya nyo din. Yung sa may sleeve, dapat nakaayos. Magdagdag tayo ng konting tubig para madali siyang maalis ang lukot. Sa kabilang 
sa inyo man. Ng back of the shoulder. Back of the shoulder. Nating water. Yan. Well, usually, hindi talaga ako nagpa-plancha kasi nagpa-plancha yung ang sa amin is yung mom ko. Kaya hindi po ako professional na mamamalancha. <laughs> well, itong natutunan ko is nag-base lang talaga sa natutunan ko dun sa training namin. Na gusto ko lang talaga yung share sa inyo. So, yun. Yeah sa may pinakapilitinong part. Diba? May, mas madali eh, talagang nag spray kayo ng bed. So, after the back part of the body, isusunod na natin is yung sa front. So, dito tayo magkisimula sa may pinakataas or yung sa chest part. Dahil nga ito yung uri ng ironing board na pinili natin. Maganda siya and mas madali siya kasi pwede natin ilusot yung pinaka shoulder, yung pinaka sleeve or yung sa shoulder part nito. Dahil medyo mali, may dun sa may pinaka pa yun na part ng ironing board. So, kung yung tubig. So, ba, kung may tatanong nyo bakit ba importante or why do we have to iron our clothes, kung bakit ba kailangan pang planchahin. Well, hindi naman talaga needed if kung pambahay lang naman yung susutin nyo. Yung pamangalansya naman, or yung pagpaplansya ng damit, is what we use sa mga damit natin, if formal siya. Yung ang formal, like sa uniforms, uh, yung sa mga gagamit nyo sa pagtatrabaho, yung panggala. Kasi naka, yung importante talaga kasi itong pamamalansya. Kasi it helps to make your, make your clothes look more cleaner and fresher. And parang sa akin, nakakatulong siya to boost your self-confidence. Kasi having a smooth clothes o yung walang lukot na damit, it makes you look more professional. So, spray ng konti. Dun sa may gitna ng part ng mga this one. Konting spray. Kili-kili na part. Or underarm. So, that's it. After nun, pwede nyo na siya ulit ilagay sa hanger at itabi. So, this is how you do it. Ibitonis nyo para hindi siya kumawala at baka malukot siya ulit. So, yan. Iayos nyo lang. So, ito na yung pinaka final final look ng pagpaplansya natin. It might be na hindi nyo siya masyadong makita sa screen. Pero, from what I've seen, mas okay siya. And, what I've, released, what I've said earlier is that it looks more cleaner and fresh, fresher. So, yan. Mas mukha siyang bago. Kahit hindi naman. So, pwede nyo siyang... After yung hanger, pwede nyo nang ilagay sa pinakasabitan nyo ng damit. So, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell para mas updated kayo sa mga bagong videos or vlogs ko. Thank you!